Welcome to Athletic Mobility. Today's flow is hips and hamstring focus. We're going to start in tabletop position. So you have your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Try to have your full palm on the ground, fingers spread wide. We're just going to hold the spine in a neutral stance here and take a few deep inhales and exhales. So as you inhale, maintain that breath in through your nose. And as you exhale again, out of your nose. You have two more here. On your next inhale, you're gonna pull your belly button in towards your spine, start your cat pose. Inhaling, looking at your chest, and on your exhale, drop your pelvis forward, release into the shoulders, and look ahead. Two more cat and cows here. Inhale on that tuck, chin to chest, Exhale all the way back down. Looking ahead. Last one. Inhale on this tuck. Really create space between those shoulder blades and exhale, release all the way down. We're going to come to a neutral spine here and step those feet back to your high plank. Really press out of those shoulders nice and strong here. From there, heels back, arms extend, and hips lift towards the ceiling. You can bend one knee and straighten the other as you walk the dog right to left, Adho Mukha Shavasana. From here, you're going to take a big inhale as you step forward. This is your first sun sal, Surya Namaskar. On your exhale, the opposite foot follows. Lengthen through the spine. Look ahead, halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. We're going to roll vertebrae by vertebrae up to a standing position. Arms inhale overhead at the top. Exhale, side bend. Inhale back to center. Exhale, side bend opposite way. Inhale back to center from here. Forward fold with a slight bend in those knees. Exhale down. Lengthen through the spine again to halfway lift. Bend the knees till those hands are flat and step back, high plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows pull into the side body. Drop those hips. You're really going to squeeze the glutes to open that chest at the top. Tuck those toes under, pull into the core right away, downward facing dog. Again, pedal those feet right to left, walking it out. Second sun sal, the opposite foot is going to lead forward towards the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale, the other one follows. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to forward fold. Rolling it up vertebrae by vertebrae. Big inhale overhead at the top. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side bend. Inhale, center, and on your exhale, slight bend in those knees. Forward fold that head back down. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands plant down, step back, high plank. Lower through, chaturanga, squeeze those glutes at the bottom, roll those shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk it out right to lift. From here, right toes rise. We're going to step this right foot in between our hands. Taking a slight bend in that right knee to start, we're going to take these blocks the tall way beside our body. From here, straighten out that right leg, and you can feel around for where that left heel is starting to get towards the ground and straightening through that back leg as well. As we take our hands down to the blocks, you want to try to square both hips off towards the front of the room, front of your mat. Elongating from that lower back as much as you can, you'll start to feel that release and stretch into that right hamstring and glute. Take a full deep inhale here. Exhale, you might hold where you are or slightly lean that chest a little bit deeper and more forward. You have one more full breath here. And on your exhale, drop that left block down a level and take that left hand to the block. Right arm's gonna reach down on the inside of your leg. On your exhale, rotate towards that right leg, right arm up towards the ceiling. We have three more here. Inhale, find that reach down. Exhale to rotate. Inhale to reach. Exhale, rotate. Last one here. Exhale, we're gonna hold the rotation. Right hand's gonna come to the outer hip on that left side. 
Take a full deep inhale here and on your exhale, rotate that right shoulder open towards the ceiling a little bit more. As we come back to center, we're gonna take that right hand down to the block. Left hand's gonna lift the block back to that tall. And then we're gonna come down into a bend of that left knee and straighten through this right leg. Getting into the right hamstring even more in our Anjanae Asana and Ardha Hanumanasana sequence. So we're pulling this right pinky toe. Both of my hips are still squared off to the front and I lengthen still through that lower back. As I take an inhale, the crown of my head is lengthening forward, exhale, leaning forward even more. Once you find that sensation through that posterior chain of your right leg, take another deep inhale and on your exhale, point that foot down. That big toe is leading towards the ground and then inhale, find that pull back. Exhale to point that foot down. Inhale to pull back. Two more, really bring awareness to the ankle here. Noticing if you feel that stretch on that front ankle and shin. And on this last one, really pull that pinky toe back. From here, we're moving forward into our Anjana Asana low lunge, getting a little bit into that anterior left hip. We can move those blocks down a level if we need. And from here, we're gonna press forward into that left hip, hands to the thighs as we lengthen through that front side of our body. Take two full breaths here. Roll those shoulders away from the ears to really lengthen through that chest. From here, you can maintain the hands where they are or to get even deeper into both the stretch in the hip and the chest, we can interlace the hands behind the back, opening through that external rotation of those shoulders. From here, hands come down to the blocks. And we're gonna straighten that right leg again as we tuck these left toes under. We're lifting back to our Parsvottanasana Pyramid Pose. But as I come back off of my left back leg, I'm gonna take my heel to the ground. Now my left foot is parallel with the back of my mat. This left block is coming closer to the inside of my right foot. And then I'm rotating up to my side wall. So now I'm facing the left side of my mat, shoulders in line with my hips. I'm gonna move my hips right to left a little bit and feel this range of motion in my hips. As I get some mobility towards the front of my mat and back of my mat on this frontal plane, I'm gonna push my hips towards the back of my mat. My right hip has somewhat of a shelf in it. And then from here, I'm gonna reach forward towards the front of my mat and then my right arm's gonna reach down for my block. Left arm lifts up towards the ceiling. I try to stack my shoulders, stack my hips, and take a big inhale at the top. On the exhale, this left arm's gonna start to reach down towards my right hand. Inhale, I'm gonna open back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, I reach down again. Inhale to open back up. Two more here, exhale on that reach towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, find that reach back down. Inhale, we rotate all the way up to a standing. And now my hips shift towards the front of my mat. Left arm down the back side, right arm all the way up overhead for a full final inhale in your reverse triangle. As I rotate back towards the front, my hands come down to the sides, either on my blocks or the ground, and then from here I step back to my high plank. If your hands are on the blocks, you can move them towards the ground now, and I come back to my downward facing dog. I'm going to pedal my feet again, right to left, making me shake out, shake out my head. Yes, no, right, left. And then from here, my left toes are going to rise. Take a big inhale. And as I exhale, pulling this left foot in between my hands. Slight bend in the knees to adjust these blocks the tall way. And then I pull my right foot to get my heels slightly towards the ground. I'm rotating my right hip towards the front of the mat and elongating from my lower back to really feel that sensation through my left hamstring 
and glute. When you're ready, take a full deep inhale here. Exhale, either maintain where you are or slightly lean that chest forward. Two more full breaths here. And on your exhale, we're going to pull this right hand down as we release that block one level. Left hand's going to inhale on the way down to reach. Exhale as we rotate towards that left side. Inhale, find that reach down. Exhale to rotate. Inhale to reach. Exhale to rotate. Last one here. On your exhale, we're going to hold the rotation at the top. Left hand's going to come to the outer hip on that right side. Pulling through our half bind, inhale again, and on your exhale, shift that gaze and shoulder open towards the ceiling. From here, I'm coming back with my left hand down on the block and moving this right block towards the inside of my left leg and heel. Right heel is going to rotate down to become parallel with the back of your mat. And then I swivel my arms and chest all the way up to stand. Movement again in our hips, right to left. We're now on Trikonasana, triangle pose, left leg forward. After a few passes in our hip mobility here, we're going to move the hips towards the back of the mat, creating a shelf this time in that left hip, lengthening our side body forward, and then reaching that left arm down. Taking a big inhale with that right arm up overhead. On our exhale, right arm reaches down towards the block. Inhale to rotate open. Exhale to reach down. Two more here. Inhale all the way up. Stack those hips. Stack the shoulders. Exhale to reach. Finding a final hold at the top of this movement. And on your exhale, we're going to lift all the way back up, shifting those hips now forward towards the front of your mat. Reversing our triangle here, taking that left arm all the way back, reaching that right arm down by that knee for some support. As we rotate forward, we're going to take that right hand down to the block. And then rotate both of those hips down. My right knee is now going to come down towards the mat. I'll come back into my half split, Ardha Hanumanasana, extending through the hamstring of this left leg. My hip are stacked over my knee, and I'm really elongating through my left leg, pulling this pinky toe towards me. As I take a full inhale here, I'm going to lengthen from my lower back. Exhale, crown of my head is pulling forward towards the front of the room. One more full breath here. And now we're going to add some ankle mobility. So on your inhale, we pull this left pinky toe. And on our exhale, our big right pinky toe, big toe, is going to point forward. Inhale on that pull back. Exhale as we point. Being mindful of where you're really feeling the sensations and allowing your body to intuitively move with your breath. From here, we're going to step forward onto that left leg, come to our Anjaneyasana low lunge pose. Option to keep those hands on the blocks for support on either side of you, or move those hands towards the front side of your thigh to lift and lengthen that chest even more and get deeper into that hamstring hip flexor on the right side. Take a full two breaths here. From here, hands can stay on that left thigh or deepen the stretch by taking them behind the back, interlacing those hands together and really externally rotating through those shoulders. From here, hands come back down to the blocks. We're going to take that left block to the inside of this left foot 
and I'm gonna walk my left foot to the outer edge of my mat. Hands can then come down, forearms onto the blocks. We're coming into a lizard pose. You'll feel that release and stretch in that right hip flexor, potentially left hamstring, and into that outer left glute as you roll onto the outside of that left foot. Taking a few deep inhales here, allowing each exhale to release you deeper into the pose. If your body feels ready to lift out of this or stay, you can choose for yourself what you do now. We're going to move over to the other side. So you're going to tuck the right toe under, and our transition is to step this right foot to the outside of that right block. So I pull into my core, I bring my body weight forward, and I plant that right heel down. I'm going to drop my hips for one second, coming down through my malasana, and then I'm going to lift my hips back up to step my left leg back. From here, I drop that left knee down. Take a full inhale here. And on my exhale, I gently lower into my lizard pose. Allowing that release into my left hip flexor, right hamstring, and into that outer right glute as I roll over onto the right side of my foot. This time, we're going to take those hands down, and we're going to pull this left knee in just a little bit. My left ankle is going to move towards the right side of my mat, and then I'm going to sink into a seated posture, my hips to the ground. From here, this right knee is going to try to stack on top of my left. So both of my knees are towards the midline of my body, towards the center of my mat, and I'm trying to stack my knees on top of one another. This is a very, very challenging pose. So if your hips are slightly lifted off of the mat, if your knees can't fully stack, just allow your body to be wherever it is here. And take a few full deep breaths. And as you release into this pose, you have the option to take those arms forward, trying to keep those hips towards the ground. You can either grab blocks, reach forward onto your mat, and just allow every exhale to release you deeper into Gamukasana. If your body feels ready to lift out of this, we're going to find a lift from our chest. And if you feel the need to stay deeper and longer in that pose, you can take that option now. So we're going to step onto the right foot. This is a really funky transition. The right foot is going to come towards the ground, both hands to the inside of your right foot. From here, I'm lifting my hips up, and now I'm walking towards the back side of my mat. And I'm going to keep rotating. Now both of my hands are towards my left foot. And as I continue rotating towards the front of my mat, my right knee is now going to bend down into the ground, and my left knee is stacked on top of my right. If we lost you there, we're just in the pose on the opposite side. So now my right knee is down in the middle of my mat, and my left knee is stacked over my right. Again, I'm trying to keep both hips on the ground as I lengthen from that lower back, and then exhale to reach those arms forward if you would like to take this variation here. Reminding yourself that every exhale is an opportunity to get deeper into the pose and deeper within yourself. Calming any tension, releasing any stress, and allowing yourself to fully be present in this moment here.
And after your last breath there, we're going to lift our chest back up. No funky transition this time. We're just going to pull this left knee from the top of our right leg and then pull our right leg from under us. Now the bottoms of our feet are going to come together as we come into our Baddha Konasana, Butterfly Pose. Lengthening from that lower back, we're trying to get those knees to open and relax as we take a forward fold, crown of our head releases front. A few deep inhales here, finding stillness in this final pose. And as we lift our chest back up, we're going to bring those knees together, bring our hips forward so that we can end in our final Shavasana, allowing ourselves to release everything into the mat. Coming down onto our backs here, if we feel the need, we can take those knees into chest and get a little bit of movements in our lumbar spine. We can give ourselves a really big hug by wrapping our hands to the front of the shins and lifting our shoulders off. It's a good time to show gratitude for your body. Thanking yourself for moving and breathing, adding in these variables to your daily practice. Connecting to your higher self and knowing what it feels like to allow this movement and breath into your days. As we release down into our final Shavasana, still connect to that breath and allow yourself to fully relax and release as you exhale here. Thank you all for joining us today. That was a hips and hamstring focused flow. Join us again. Subscribe to our athletic mobility page. Thank you all.